Eliyahu's The Goal, chapter one. Let's just jump right into it. You're going to love this book. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. People get asked to read this book all the time. Uh, they tend to overthink it. Just hop right in, enjoy it. The, the themes are transparent and they're very clear. First thing we do is we meet our narrator, the main character, Alex Rogo. Uh, and again, Goldrot is very transparent here and what he's doing as an author and that Rogo is uh, the first person of Latin, Rogo, Rogare, Rogawi, Rogatis, to ask or to question. So he's putting you, the reader, right away into the frame of mind of Alex Rogo, a plant manager. In chapter one, which is only 10 pages long, you really should go out, read the book directly on your own. It only takes a little bit longer than listening to me right here. But in those 10 pages, we're gonna follow Alex Rogo through three different settings. He's in the parking lot at the plant that he runs. He's then in the plant itself. And lastly, he's in his own office talking with his team members. The book starts with Rogo pulling into the parking lot and his boss, who he hates with the name of Bill Peach. Again, Peach, the names throughout the book are gonna be corny, they're gonna be transparent. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it all. Um, Peach is parked in his place. Uh, Rogo has all these emotions, seeing that he's there, he's surprised. There's all this first person inner monologue that you would expect to read of a good plant manager who cares about his people, cares about his product, and yet isn't quite at the level of understanding of being able to predict what's going on in his site so that he can predict what's gonna happen and is he gonna be able to hit his customer needs day in and day out. Rogo goes in, he kind of gets chewed out by Peach. There's parts that are behind schedule. Uh, there's a robot involved. That robot's gonna come back many times through the book. And uh, he then sits down with his plant team to kind of see how, you know, how do they get these parts out on time? And that's it. So you, you, you walk through these three settings. It is a very, very, very manufacturing focused 10 pages. Uh, there, are, there is some near poetic language from uh, Goldrop where he talks about the uh, excitement and the feel of a plant. So any of us who've worked in manufacturing, that really resonates with what you're finding there. There's some great comments about Peach. You know, the, to quote, Peach doesn't give a damn about the other do it now job. Again, Peach just wants his plant done. And uh, my other favorite line from this, again, going... You have to appreciate Goldrod, uh, who, who's really writing uh, a textbook here, but it's like a textbook that went to a Halloween party dressed as a really, uh, really simple choose your own adventure. So Goldrod will try and be um, a, a novelist at times and, and try to paint the picture. And the line I always loved was, going into the plant is like entering a place where Satan's and angels have married to make kind of a gray magic. That's the summary of chapter one from the goal. Um, you, you'll benefit just as much by going out, finding the first chapter, buying it. It's a book you'll read over and over again. Uh, you can also go check out on my blog. I've got a written summary of this chapter. You'll see that link in the end of this video. Um, and again, stay tuned for chapter two.